the fidget nerd wrapped as is one of my absolute favorites this was a gift uh from jonas for um for outstanding service to the community and all the help i provided him with you know just letting people know about the wrapped and making the uh the wrapped guide uh for buying customs uh and yeah it was a it was a total surprise. It, uh, I was uh, at work one day and Jonas PMs me and says, hey, it's just gonna be a lot easier if you just um, uh, just remind me about your address again. It's gonna be easier than me going through all of the old PMs and trying to find it. Uh, Cause I'm sending you a little, uh, a little like thank you, like gift sort of reward thing here. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, yeah, that, here's the address, great. Uh, <laughs> had no idea, no idea what it was going to be um, at all. Uh, he was so kind to, he made sure that he uh, he uh, sent it uh, from his personal name and not uh, the Modus Works so that uh, DHL uh, shipping to Canada um, didn't have to like charge like a customs fee. And then he, you know, made sure, he just made sure that I didn't have to pay anything when it, you know, showed up. Cause sometimes these things can, you know, come from the States and, you know, the queen wants even more tax on something that, you know, in my opinion, shouldn't be extra tax. I think it's absolute crap. So he was great that way, just making sure that it just showed up and, you know, a uh, complete gift, not a, you know, not a dime out of my pocket and total surprise and just amazing. Like I, um, I even made sure that when I, when I had the box, like in my hand, it's not the actual box, but um, that I, you know, kept it, I kept it upright like this and, um, you know, did it similar to when I uh, opened um, an order I got from Jonas, which was like four surprise wraps that I told him, just don't tell me, don't show me where they are. Right. Uh, and I opened it with the top up, didn't look at the bottom and then, you know, took it out of the bag. And I think it came out like that first. And I was like, what? Like, what is that? I actually thought it was like a resin inlay at first or something like that. I was like, wow, that's a really cool resin that he got or something. And then I like flip it over. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Right. And, you know, I still thought it was it was some sort of resin until I looked at the box and found out that it is like they're, it's crystal titanium on both sides, just finished differently. And then I noticed the fidget nerd laser engraving. I was just like, oh my God, it's crazy. So what it is, oh, lawnmower man. Oh, it's a leaf blower man. Maybe we'll wait for leaf blower man to stop. So what the finish is, is, um, well, what the materials are in the finishes, I should say. So the body is zirconium and it is machine finished. And I'm freaking in love with zirconium machine finish now. It is, uh, like I've heard Jonas say before, like the Batman metal. It is just, it is clean. It is crisp. It is precise. It's exact. And like Jonas said, he always prefers machine finish because this is this is his vision, right? This is the closest you're going to get to what his vision was in you know CAD when he was like making the 3D drawings for these things. Any other finish that you put on top starts to take away the cuts and the edges and you know the definition of you know, these lines and stuff, right? And I think that every metal has like, has a finish that's, you know, the best for it for you, right? Like I, you know, I, for example, I wouldn't want machine finish on like bronze. I like a polish on a bronze and, um, you know, but like titanium, I really think is good machine finished or like, you know, stone washed. Um, I think it could be either. It's great that way. But now I'm like, I'm, I'm really like, I'm, I'm really on the boat of machine finish Zerk. It's just, it's just sharp as fuck. It's so good. And I say sharp and I mean good looking, you know, like in a tux. 
right? It's not sharp to the hand. It's you feel it, but it's not like I'm ever, I'm ever like cutting myself up, like playing with this thing. So yeah, body machine finish Zerk. And then of course, another little finishing detail is the laser engraving in um, uh, Fidget Nerd there. It's only on this side of it. It's got Fidget Nerd there and Fidget Nerd there. Uh, and it's cool. He got the font right too. I never actually asked him how he got it. I imagine that he, I just kind of imagine that he went and, uh, you know, uh, copied the logo and then transposed that into, you know, took the color out and then transposed that into something that they could laser engrave. Um, or as far as I know, uh, that's just how it comes out laser engraved because laser engraving, of course, isn't going to put color in. So he just took the logo, put it there and said, laser engrave that. So, um, that's just that's just so cool. The added detail of the font, and then, like I said, both sides crystal titanium. This side is crystal titanium, and it has been uh, chemically darkened and heavily etched. So chemical has been used to darken it and make it that just absolutely gorgeous, you know, shimmery dark sort of. I heard someone describe it as they they, they thought of coffee when they saw it. And, and then the etching, the heavy etching is like, I imagine you, that would be putting it in a, like a kind of an acid bath to like eat away a little bit of the metal. So what, where you can see that is like on these, on like edges right here, right down there, or normally, what do I have that has more of a, more of a machine finish. So yeah, if you look at, no, this one's right here. So, so you see this, this would be machine finish. It's resin, but this is like a machine finished edge there. And then here you're getting, it's just slightly rounded over, right? Slightly, slightly different from that etching, right? And then it's kind of added this texture in there as well. It's just amazing. It's amazing, amazing work. And then this side, also crystal titanium, lightly etched, polished, and flamed. Okay. So I don't know where the light etching comes in. That might be something to add a bit of uh, texture in there to help like the flame, the flaming hold in a little bit more. I don't know if I ever asked about that, uh, but you can definitely like feel the difference in the, the polish, right? Like I can, I can just close my eyes and just flip this thing around and just like, I don't know what side is what, right? And then I can go and pick it up and then put my thumb on it and go, yeah, I've got the chemically darkened on that side and I've got the, the polished uh, colorful rainbow one on that side. Yeah, yeah, right? I did, see? So you can, you can tell the difference just from feeling it and I love that. I love that I can just like pull it out of my pocket and not not be looking and be like, oh, okay, yeah, now I've got the uh, now I've got the dark chemical one there and I got the polished one there, right? So that is the finishes and oh man, like look at it. And I want to I want to point out that that this is technically this is a maker's choice wrapped, right? This is one that Jonas made without any any input from anyone. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that he comes up with when he he does Maker's Choice stuff, right? And he loves doing that stuff. That's what he lives for, right? He really enjoys just making, you know, making the shit he wants, right? And I just want to emphasize that, like, look, he's good at it, right? Like, I had no input in this, and it's amazing. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I love being surprised, especially by Jonas. Um so yeah, that's, that's, that's what he came up with. And I've had people who have seen this on, you know, Facebook groups and stuff or, or other things on this channel, right? And have said like, normally my OCD couldn't handle the fact that, you know, each side is different. But in this case, I, I think it's okay. So that's saying something. And then the inserts in there, I have like my favorite setup. Um, and I kind of... I think I kind of arrived on it when I got this. I don't know why I'd never thought of trying it before. It just hadn't occurred to me. 
Sersha, excuse me. We are talking about wraps right now, and it is very important. And I will let you out to pee after I am done. Okay? You be a good girl and wait. This is very important. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. And so what was I saying? Right, the inserts, the magnet inserts. So it actually has the same magnet insert uh strength and configuration as this one and this one i've had it like this forever and i love it it's half strong and half uh hybrid in plastic and for some reason i'd never tried it in aluminum so i did that same setup in aluminum okay so half as strong half as hybrid but all in aluminum and oh my god it's so freaking good it became my new favorite and then I've got the foam dampeners in there. I'm going through a phase right now where I am not as into crunch. Uh, so I, yeah, I had them in there. Initially, I had rubber spacers in there. And it does sound just oh, great with that as well. For some reason, it's the it's the metal, the tight lightness of the titanium, the Zerk, the way it all sounds together. It's, 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 it's just really perfect. I, I, I don't know what's going on. It's, and then just the haptics of having the strong with the hybrid i can't handle strong strong like full strong it tires my hands out after a while it's nice it's it's good the haptics are perfect in a way but they're not as perfect as this having just the hybrid in there and then losing you know two or four strong magnets in the center on one side just brings the strength down enough to really just ah, just locks it in it's like that last click you get this like resistance on it it's uh, it is it is great any of you who have not tried mixing like side side like doing half of something half of the other i highly suggest you just you know get over whatever ocd thing it is or you know maybe you just haven't tried it but try it do it it is like it really opens up a lot of other options for the wrapped and then half medium half hybrid half uh half strong half hybrid like this one um uh, what's the other one half medium half strong that one's another great one as well um those would be my three favorite half halves right uh, i always have wraps set up in like uh set up like that so this is how this one that this one has been set up and it's just yeah it's just really working for me um yeah i don't know what else to say about this except you know just to you know if Jonas is watching, I know you've heard me say this before, but thank you. Like, thank you so much. This thing is amazing. It, you know, it will be with me for the rest of my life. It is probably the most thoughtful gift that anyone has ever made me, period. I love it. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed me rambling about it. There you go, nerds. Get out of here.